Hey everybody, it's Mike with Monkey Fab. Uh, today I just thought I'd make a quick video on uh, distortion. And uh, I see this all the time because I, I make these uh, collectors all the time. So it's, it's something I've you know, noticed time and time again. Uh, what I generally do is I'll surface the back side of the flange uh, that's going to be you know, mating with the turbo. And then I'll you know, chuck it up and I have a, uh, an aluminum uh, like purge block that I use. Uh, it, it serves a couple functions. Number one is it, is it helps pull the heat from the part so that the part doesn't, you know, get too saturated with heat. And it also, you know, is used to fill the back with purging gas. And then I'll, I generally let it cool. I don't necessarily rush it. I just, you know, set it down, just let it cool to room temperature. And that helps limit the distortion in the part. But stainless is crazy reactive with uh, heat. So when when I take them off and I, I sand them again, I always notice that they're you know they're not they're not flat anymore. They've uh, been you know warped. So uh, so you just you know just it's it's that's the best way I found to do it. You know. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and surface this on my belt sander. What we'll do is I'll get this guy nice and flat. It looks flat, and uh, I'll let you see the surface finish, and then we'll weld out. A collector and then we'll hit it with some dicum and we'll we'll touch it on the, the same surface and see what it does. It should be interesting, right? There is a little bit of a low spot, like right, yeah, but I'd say it's probably within a thou of being perfectly flat. So, uh, cool man, we'll uh, take another look after we're done welding. So we got the merge uh, ready to go, welded onto the, ready to weld onto the flange. This is same flange, it's kind of got that little bit of a low spot right in the middle. And we're going to go ahead and slap this together, weld it on, and then we're going to do the old Dicom test, see how it turns out. Same flange, same flange, and we got the merge, weld it together, and we're going to marry the two in perfect harmony so they can be happy together forever. And we're going to do that by bolting this down to a purge block. Hood on. Um, let's set this to straight current. We'll go 125 amps, and we'll just use the pedal as we need it.
So what, we'll just let this guy sit and uh, cool down. I've been in a rush before and, uh, and try to cool them quickly, like, uh, you know, submerging this aluminum block in water to help, you know, pull the heat out and dissipate the heat. And, uh, and it works with aluminum, it's pretty amazing. But what I found is that that really warps the flange. I, I don't know, I don't understand why. Um, I'm not that smart, but I know that it makes it, just from doing it, I know that it makes it a lot worse uh, or more pronounced, the warpage, the heat distortion that you're going to see. Uh, if you do see any, hey, maybe, it, maybe it's just a matter, matter of my, uh, just a figment of my imagination. I don't know. Uh, but it seems pretty consistent, so what I find the best to do is kind of just let it cool down slowly And that's just like leave it here and just let it sit Okay, so uh, this guy is like completely room temperature. It's like easy I'm holding it uh, So I'll just go ahead and break these guys free What I have noticed is like they're always tighter after the fact so that's usually a good indicator that something's going on. So, see, same flange, you can still see the little spot right there. You can see we got, you know, good penetration and, uh, you know, it looks decent. You see, I, I welded it pretty quick. I'll, I think I'm going to play that in real time because that way you can kind of see, you know, hey, this is, this is how, you know, it wasn't just hanging out in one spot dumping heat. I was, you know, getting the job done and moving out. So, we'll uh, go touch it up. All right, so the blue's on there. We're going to go over there to the belt sander and touch it off and see what happens. So you can see that. This is a half inch thick flange and we already, like I said, we already sanded it so that it would be um, flat when we went in and now it's not flat. Get it out in the line, I think. We're up underneath the Phoenix. So, what's interesting is that low spot became a high spot. <laughs> so we'll uh, keep hitting it until we get it flat. So there we go, and there's still a little bit of a low spot right here, 
and of course this tab here, but like I said, um, that's not a ceiling surface, so don't worry about that. But just thought it'd be interesting. I see this all the time. Every time I weld these, uh, stainless steel is just, uh, it likes to it likes to go whatever way the heat is. So uh, just uh, something to keep in mind when you're working on your projects, you know. Uh, generally, clamping stuff down is a huge, huge, I mean, so, <laughs> true story. You can tune out now if you want to. Thanks for watching Mike Fab. Be sure to check out my website, monkeyfabgarage.com. But if you want to hang on, I remember the first time I was doing a turbo kit, I had, uh, it was the LS deal, and, uh, and I was welding the flange. And I, I was just going to basically tack on some, some runners, you know, and I, and I was like, you know, I'm just going to go in there, I'm going to tack these runners on, you know, maybe four spots each, just four of them. And how bad could it be? And they were, uh, they were half inch, half inch stainless steel flanges, LS, you know, exhaust style. And I did, and, uh, and you know, I, I was done, and the thing looked like, a, it, it, it was just like tacoed. <laughs> I was just, I was just screwed. Luckily, I was able to clamp it down, you know. It was what I used for, uh, for uh, my LS style uh, headers, is I use this guy right here bolt them down and it gives me you know individual purges for each runner and uh, and I, I built that because of that because I, it's just like I was totally shocked at how how much uh, stainless would move with heat you know you want to think to yourself like oh it's you know it's super thick metal you know how bad could it be yeah pretty bad so um, anyway best thing you can do is, is clamp it down that's going to control the majority of uh, of your uh, distortion, and uh, you know, and then just try to finish stuff off correctly. You know, if it's a flange, you know, take the time, surface it off. So uh, you're, whoever you know, you got a good ceiling surface, and you're not battling exhaust leaks and stuff like that. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. This is Mike Monkey Fab signing out.